we jumped on the R15 from Vegas for a short 200 mile hop down to California. Along the way we saw the Ivan Parr solar power plant, it looks cool from the side of the road. Then we jumped on Highway 2, which cuts across the hills towards LA. It's 70 miles of the most fantastic twists and turns, and there's no traffic. As we got nearer to LA, we caught up with some locals on some rather uh, eclectic bikes, but they seemed like a good bunch. <music> then we pulled over, because it's not every day you get to look down on LA from the hills. The next morning we were back on the mountain road, this time heading for the rock store for breakfast. For decades the rock store has been the coolest hangout for American bikers, everyone from Steve McQueen to Jay Leno. And now, Alan! Next we jumped on the Pacific Coast Highway, heading north towards San Francisco. For some reason we recorded almost none of it, but we still enjoyed it. stood in the Pacific Ocean and I rode here on my motorbike from New York. Isn't it brilliant? The next day we popped to San Jose and met up with Tom, who's also a Pikes Peak racer. Riding his trusty old VTR, he was showing us the local roads and again they were absolutely fantastic. quick bike swap so Tom could check out the power of the BMW. But it wasn't just the engine that was uh, different. How are those brakes working for you? <laughs> A little better than those. Get out, I was just like your first car like huh. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to California. It's sunny, the roads are good, the scenery is spectacular. It's almost as good as Lincolnshire. Our final day on the bikes, we had to pop into San Francisco to do some customers' paperwork. And we also rode down a quite crooked road while we were there. It was a sad moment when we finally had to give our bikes back, because we'd had an absolutely fantastic time. If you want to have an absolutely fantastic time, it's really pretty simple. You just need some good mates, some motorbikes, a wooden pallet, a basic idea of where you want to go. Along the way you'll probably have some high times, you quite possibly have some low times, but they should be used as an excuse to meet new people. But if you've got an Eric with you, it's maybe best to keep him away from motivational Mario Andretti quotes tends to get a bit carried away.